Hey, what's going on? So in this video, I wanna show you how to return specific HTTP status codes in your Flask app. So right here, I have a very simple Flask app with just two routes. So if we look at these first in the browser, this is the first route and this is the second route. And if we look at the network information for this route, we can see it's returning a status code of 200. So let's go back to our code here and we just have to import one more thing from Flask which is make response. And then we can use this down when we're returning data from our route. So we can say make response. And the first thing we'll pass in is the data itself. And then the second thing will be the status code. So let's just try 401 unauthorized, for example. So let's save this and go back and refresh. And there you go. Our route is returning a status code of 401. Or we can make this 201 if we want that. And it's as simple as that. So using make response gives us more control over the information sent back with the response. For example, the status code, or we could pass in a headers object here. But if all we want to do is change the status code, we actually don't need make response at all. There's a shorter way of doing it. So let me show you that here. So we can just return the data itself, comma, and then a status code. So let's save this and test it out. And there you go, that works there. Let's do 500, for example. And there you go. So that's the quickest way of changing your responses status code in Flask. If you found this helpful and you wanna see other videos on Python, Flask, MongoDB, Postgres, and API development in general, then make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.